is up my people welcome back to another edition of singles of the week i'm your boy nasina dream if you're new to the channel let's go right on ahead hit the subscribe button hit the bells what's always keep notified on my newest concert okay so as you know i was not present for last weekend i was in las vegas celebrating the one and only edc and uh because of that i missed last week's singles of the week so this week's will be a little bit of a mashup of this week's new singles and last week's new singles don't worry it's not gonna be an abundance of crazy amount of singles it's not like i'm reviewing 50 singles or anything like that like it's it's a chunky amount but not too much but just so you know it, it's a bit of a mix of this week's and last week's so without further ado with me stating that let's get right into it beginning this week's singles of the week is a remix made by tiesto of the song voodoo by basha and feature j balvin on the track i think he might have played this track while i was out in vegas during a set i honestly don't remember um but either way i think it's got the noise it's got the hype the bass is raising the roof off these drops i like the tempo adjustments off the track it sets up to be a really nice transition i'd say it's good i like this one next is some reggaeton music with a new track from anuel a this one is called que no paso it features more of anuel's melodic work still having some of that trap styles that he's best known for that he's like his signature of course and at first it's doable at first but when you move on more and more into this track when you understand that it's more of a dance track than anything i don't know i more and more i really feel like it just doesn't feel like the flow works for this beat at all like it feels like it's dragged on the beat almost feels like it just falls out of line sometimes too it doesn't really feel like it, it's in sync uh this is not a great single for manuel um i'm rather disappointed for sure got some more biba doobie on the track love song bringing yet another pretty great track it has some dreamy sweet sonic tones to the song loving the singing on here and i also like how the acoustics are buried under the atmospheric layers on here some might think it might not be that great of a mix you know but it's clearly intentional the way it's mixed in here and i think it works i love it and then we got this fucking crazy crazy hip hop boom bap heater here on the next one with a brand new logic track the song is called orville featuring the jaw dropping features as well from like and blue and exile Ooh, fucking so hype when i seen blue and exile on here like wow let me tell you blue and exile is for sure like one of my favorites just uh have some of my favorite records and blue is obviously like my favorite conscious rapper at the, at the moment um getting besides the point i think this single might be one of my like top hip-hop singles of the year dead ass dude like i thought everyone here like let me tell you dude logic murdered this dude like he really murdered this killer ass sample i love the way the features also were arranged on here i just thought this was just a perfect combo i thought everyone was just meant to be on this track i thought it was such a brilliant song it's so freaking good rap caviar right here ladies and gentlemen then we got some new lord here and out with a deluxe version of his 2021 lp long lost this song is called other life i thought the track was kind of stretched out a bit farther than it should have been i mean granted that's kind of lord Huron's style that's kind of how most of his music follows but this track just doesn't have that much to offer in my opinion when it runs it's time i think if it was shortened or maybe layered to be more intriguing and something like that on the build then maybe i'd like it but right now, i'm just an ad right now and then we got a new black bear featuring machine gun kelly yeah it sucks all right well then we got some new chance the rapper out with the new track a bar about a bar listen what was the point of this what was the point of putting this track out is this supposed to be funny like it's literally a quarter of a song not even a full verse like what is this is this supposed to be like a transition track for the next record that he's coming out with like why release this as a single what's the point of releasing this as a single this shit was just so whack dude like chance man what are you doing my guy what happened to you bro come out with three debatably banger mixtapes and just fall off hard like come on, my guy. pop punk band neck deep is out with some new music this week this one is called stfu and it's not too bad it has the drive like a hype neck deep song should and uh I don't know. I feel like the mix on here was a bit blurry. Like, it doesn't really match the same production style that the last LP had. And um, I would have liked more of that, like, when it comes to the instrumental having character from this as well. But eh, it, I guess it could have been worse. But it's definitely not fire. Then we got some new house music. On and On is the title, and it's by Morgan Page and Vin. Shit's a freaking rave rager. Like, let me tell you, the build-ups are very exciting. The drop itself isn't crazy, but it's got some high vocals, some great work alongside with that on the side of the beat, and uh, it's good. 
I like this tune a lot. Give it a try. And then we got some new Rico Nasty out with Intrusive. It plays out like her normal side or like her normal aggression side that she mimics around with the driven bass on the track. Um, I just don't see that much going for this track personally. It doesn't really sound like anything, any song structure on here. It's just constant loops of aggression and, and I don't know. It feels like I'm just in the same loop the whole time. I mean, Rico's cool on it, but I don't know. I guess the song is just whatever. And we got some new Big Gigantic teaming up with singer Brooke Williams on the song Losing My Mind. In the beginning, I wasn't sold into the track, leading into the first run of the chorus at least, but running it back later on, getting to hear this again on its own, I really do like this instrumental. I do think that this is pretty, pretty nice. Hearing the melodies can make you think about it all day. This is a pretty dope track. I think it's really good. It's a good vibe, man. Check it out. Next is house icon Armin Van Buren with the feature Warble on Feel Again. As a house track, everything seems in check productively. The synths, baits, vocals, drums, all mixed well, for sure. Drop itself is a soft touch, but it's got a nice groove to it. It definitely has a nice groove to it. I'm not insane for the vocalist, but Armin does a great job on here. He's one of the best in house and I thought it made a decent instrumental. Then we got another track from Super Organism with the song On and On. There's some really dope creativity with the transitions on the track. I love how they use that like ripped, balled up paper effect on one on here and just, it was just great. I thought the design of the song structure is just fantastic. This song, this, this group is just really good at making some really wonky tricks into the backgrounds onto their foundation of the musicality on here. I'm loving that it is still having that dreamy kind of like tone to it, but also it just feels out of this world. Like it feels totally unworldly and like a whole different experience, like experience, sorry, excuse me. This is surely my favorite teaser that they dropped so far though. I'm uh, That's facts. So I'm really hoping that this LP lives to its hype, so. I'm getting ready to check it out. We then have indie pop band Mr. Wives, whom by the way are now an independent label and will be releasing their full LP from the new label very, very soon. I'm really excited to hear that. But the track I will be talking about is Where Do We Go From Here? And wow, it's really good. Like really, really good. Like really good, like shit. Maybe this is a good move for them to step away from the industry, from their, their label making them do shit because especially nowadays, like I mean, when you're seeing all these like, all these artists like popping up on TikTok saying that they're being forced to like make videos on TikTok and just a whole bunch of other shit. Like they're clearly like industries are really trying to control the art at this point and that shit's whack as fuck. But you know what? This is dope to hear. Like they really got a lot darker on the electronics on here, but it doesn't make you feel like sad or scary or angry or something like that. I really think it makes it edgy. Like for any pop track, I think it sounds so sick. The song structure is still very similar to some normal pop structures, but this is great. I am absolutely happy for the band. I cannot wait to hear the full project. Next is some more brand new pop punk from Real Friends. This song is called Always Lose. The choruses is certainly rocking. The guitar playing is one of my favorite traits into the song. It's not an evolving track from the band, but I'd say they're finding a way to work with this new vocalist. I think it's not bad. Check it out. Then there's some new Latin folk upon us with the track Rosalia by Los Colegetes and Natalia La Forcade. The acoustic side of the instrumental is just is very, very fresh and organic. I'm not really loving the contrast though between the two singers. It's not terrible, but it doesn't really always feel like they're in line with each other on each bar. Like the song doesn't progress into anything more either. Like it nearly stays on the same track that they're really going with the same chord progression. Like, I don't know. It's not bad. I just wish it had more music extension to it, but it's okay. Next, there is a new track from electronic group Sylvan Alesso on the song Sunburn. It's got a nice groove to it and the production side of the song, it feels fine. But at the same time, I'm just kind of eh during this whole play. Like, I don't know, the entire time. Like, I don't know if I just wasn't craving these synthetics the way they were designed but or maybe the way they're presented but i don't know i i'd say overall it's just it's just all right next is another indie pop artist spill tab on the new single splinter definitely a summer vibe too judging on this chorus and i think spill tab does a decent work on the track and i think the chorus is definitely likable probably one of the most likable things on this song she's creating dynamic into her singing as well which is great i'm just not in love with the result like Again, I, I think that's just me. Like, I seriously don't think that there's any issues on the song. It's not a bad song at all. And I think she has some decent singing qualities on here. It, I just don't love it. Yeah. We also have some country Americana from iconic 90s country rooted singer, one half of the Jude's Winona and folk singer Waxahachie on the song Other Side. And I gotta say the two work 
wonderfully with each other on here. I'm really liking the way they bring in the old school with the new school. And I think it's brilliant. The instrumental blends with the country folk influences, making this feel like it would have came out during Jude's prime. Like, I think it's a pretty decent. It's nice and breezy. It's a calm tune with a gentle instrumentation. I like it. Then we have the song from 070 Shit Club with Christine and the Queens on the song Body. Okay, dude, like, I want to say I love this song because one, the beat is great. I love how it enters into a cold start with going into Christine and the Queens starting off this track. And I love the small details to it, especially with the sauce sense. They just feel so addictive. But I don't know how to feel about Osama no Shake. She's not bad at all. I can dig her verse, but it doesn't feel connected with the rest of the song. For now, I'm going to give it the L emoji for now. But I'm going to wait to see if this track hits different when the full record comes out for 070 Shakes record. So stay tuned for that. Next is one of UK's biggest names in hip hop. MIA is out with the track The One. Honestly, plain and simple, the track is a banger. No other way to put it. It's an absolute hit, okay? MIA's flows on here just feel so signature. Follows a more modern trap feel this time, but it still bops so hard. Like, okay, if I'm gonna get in the one thing, I, I guess the ending did feel kind of harsh. Like, I do remember this ending on here. It felt like it was just kind of cut off, and I feel like it would have been better for a hype track like this to have a cool down, but eh, I can work around it. It's fire. Next, we have what seems to be a bonus track from Oliver Tree. It's called I Hate You, and it's basically a portrayal track from a friend who has bad friends, and yeah, it's, it's not good. Sorry. It's so tacky. It's just tacky pop rock. I wish it was more funny, if anything, to have more enjoyment from it. But it's not funny. I just don't like it. Then we got another single from Soccer Mommy, and it's yet another really good indie pop song. This whole track feels like I'm in a teen dream. I'm really loving the writing on here on every track so far. I hope this record really lives up to its teasers, so we'll see. Then we have a new track from electronic pop producer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist Calvin Harris, bringing singers Dua Lipa and rapper Young Thug. And yeah, this is just an awful mess. This track is an awful mess. Like, I don't know why the mastering is this bad. Like, for God's sake, the intro into the first verse is awful. It is God awful. I don't like a single damn thing that this song has to offer. This The guitars, are they not annoying to anybody? Dude it's a blaring annoyance it's terrible i i never think a calvin harris song could ever get this bad i stand corrected finishing off this week's singles of the week is the brand new song from kanye west and the deceased xxx tentacion you already know how i feel about tracks from the dead that's why i wanted to put that out there but um whatever I, whatever anyway i think this song is produced pretty well i'll give them that and overall i like what they did with all on work and the fundamentals when it comes to, to the structure of the song. I just can't get into X's sample. I don't think it's good. There's like so many creaks into the singing that bothers me into this track. Not like he's like an immense talented singer or something like that. And it's not a big deal, but I just don't think there was anything they could do with this recording. What was the point of even taking it? it it's not good. I think they're the best. I think Kanye did his best on here with all the work from Mike Dean and everything, but um, there was nothing you could do. It is not going to get the flames. Far from it. And that is it for this week's Singles of the Week, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go to like, share, comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, down in the description, you see all the links for the tracks that I talked about in this video, more videos, and also the links to my social media accounts so you can keep with me on the daily. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Dope.